And here we go into game 5 between Stark and the Viper. Viper playing in yellow, Stark in purple again. And we have Random Mirror, it's a Teuton's War. Uh, of course, Viper can see his sheep immediately. Let's see, Stark the same thing, that's a uh, advantage with Turks here. Um, probably a bonus that should be given to the Chinese, and I think the balance patch, and maybe even on, on like uh, Forgotten Empires or African Kingdoms. Not sure. Uh, I think the balance patch it was moved to the Chinese have the, uh, the way uh, more difficult start. Let's see what's actually going to happen. Teuton's War we expect uh, to see either like 3TC, mini boom, 4TC boom, I don't know. Um, we could see aggressive play with monks and night scouts, siege, whatever. Uh, I've seen very different approaches here. Um, I'm interested to see how the players are going to, to work this out actually. And I'm going to uh, start with Stark's map while we see that Viper is actually laying aiming and uh, stealing like four sheep uh, from Stark here. That's not good, Stark did not see this, I think. He will uh, be minus four here and that's a big lame by the Viper. Uh, does Viper have any resources outside? I'm not sure who, uh, whose boar this is. Um, we have one boar for Stark inside his very, very large base actually. And a second boar, that just means that is uh, Viper's boar here. Stark can see it, Viper uh, can not see it right now. It might run into the in the, the line of sight from the gate. No, not happening. Uh, so if Stark is actually deciding to steal the boar, Viper will have to compensate that from the four sheep. And actually that's a uh, relatively good deal. Viper is going to find the deer. I saw them already and the boar. I think that's his deer as well. I don't see it right now. Um, Viper getting the first boar in. There we go. And I'm assuming he's gonna go for the boar very soon now. But I want to start with Stark's, Stark's start with Stark's map. Oh my god! And we can see the main gold relatively forward, a little on the side, but uh, yeah, it's a big base, so it's not in the back. Main stone, a little bit more in the back. Second gold in the back. Third gold in the back. Actually, not uh, too sh uh, shady here, too. too sh how do you call it? I don't know. Uh, not too bad. And he's going to get the second born as well. Um, Barry is very close. Scout fight actually between Viper and Stark. Viper is sending the lag is real. Oh, interesting. Um, Viper sending now villager to get the boar and no loom for Viper. He is actually winning the fight. Stark saying OMG. Yeah, and Viper getting the boar in. Very nice. Uh, sending a sheep to block the boar a little bit, but it's no, not happening. And Viper might lose the villager. Uh, no, it's gonna be fine. No problem here. A little bit late with the boar, but the villager is there and oh, right back. No, not happening. Uh, Viper going for uh, the, s the safe way now, choosing to shoot the boar outside of the TC, but that's fine. And Stark immediately going for the deer for what I suppose is actually Viper's deer or is he going for his own? But I think it's going to be uh, those deer that he's going to take. Uh, he probably realized that Viper has stolen a few sheep. Yeah, look at this. That's, that's amazing. One, two, three, seven sheep alive uh, uh, at uh, seven minutes into the game. And now we can see a house and palisades in front of Viper skates, at the same time building a mill. Viper, of course, is going to see this. He might decide to, tr to drush, actually. Mm, would be interesting. Stark, four villagers, and taking all the deer that he can, as long as he can. Uh, at the same time, two lumber camps. One lumber camp, I don't I see, see only one right now. Two farms are up, and he's taking the last boar, so he's gonna uh, be in trouble with food here. Going for more farms, because it's the tutor, it's not really a problem. And actually, yeah, look at this. Viper reacting immediately, doing the barracks, going for militia. Let's see if he's actually doing four, but um, three should be enough. Yeah, there we go. Three village, uh, th three militia mm, going for a mining camp on the main goal. Let's go for Viper's map actually as long as we can. Um, main gold on the side mm, can be protected, I think. Second gold uh, inside, third gold outside, and the main stone all in the same area. This is very important here for Viper. He needs to defend this, or may need to defend this. And now Viper is sending two militia and five villagers uh, to attack here uh, and uh, probably to take the deer. Now Star has to run away because that's too many villagers and militia here. Losing one, the others are going to go back, and he's uh, vault this already. Uh, Stark is up to feudal age first. He got enough food in from the deer here. Now, of course, Viper is going to take the deer. Is he? Yeah, milling the three deer here. Might lure the others uh, towards the mill. Stark now going to, uh, to wall behind this. And uh, three militia. I'm not sure if it was worth it. Um, 
Yeah, lag seems to be uh, bad for them. Uh, it's not good because uh, we didn't have any complaints in the game, games before. Now, of course, uh, Viper won't be able to get through here, and it's just to have to be busy a little bit. Viper also clicked up to Feudal Age. Stark will be there a lot earlier. Viper actually 29, but it's just because he was the one who had rushed. Got four uh, farms, and of course, he got the sheep, so we should be fine with food in the long run. Actually, it's a little bit low with gold here. Uh, let's see if he's mm, going to be able to click up to Castle. Stark should have the gold, but also going three villagers, doing barracks and stable. And um, after that, he should be uh, shouldn't have any problems to click up. He's got seven farms up, as far as I can see here, and five villagers and berries as well. So, yeah. Um, Viper in the meantime taking all the deer now and attacking the house. Stark needs to send the villagers soon. Mm, shouldn't forget this. Viper is going to be uh, in Feudal Age very soon as well. And Stark actually doing one more with the chest. He's going to have 29 as well. Blacksmith's coming up. He's missing the building apparently. And after this villager, he's going to be able to click up to Castle Age. Viper doing the Blacksmith and the stable as well. I'm expecting to see knights here. And Viper still taking all the deer. I haven't seen this in a long time. <laughs> Two mills close, uh, so close. And uh, actually fighting for for deer in Dark Age, but it's happening. Both plays up to Castle Age. Stark, um, 23 seconds ahead, but two villages behind. Um, I thought of the two, I missed that. They're talking about, maybe we're talking about the trash. I don't know. And uh, now Stark, of course, is repairing the house. Uh, Viper is still staying there with the three militia because why not uh, keep one villager busy? That's uh, uh, better than doing nothing. It's like five seconds delay sometimes. Wow, that's huge. This shouldn't happen. Uh, shouldn't happen in the tournament game, but it happens, of course. Can't do anything. And what is Viper actually going to do here? Mm, I'm assuming that nobody's going for scouts. Knights will be good enough even against the monks here. And Stark is the one who is up to Castle Age first. Uh, since we were talking about this, <laughs> let's see. Um, what is Star going to do? We might see Monastery, but I'm not sure where's the relics actually. I didn't uh, didn't even find the relics. This must be Viper's second stone, which I also didn't see. He's got a uh, gold in the back. And uh, yeah, I was too busy <laughs> with the game here. Um, second stone for both players outside. And uh, now we see Siege Workshop and Monastery for Star. Immediately there's one relic between the two players. Uh, there's number two, three, and four out in the field. And there's number five, maybe a little bit closer closer to Stark, but not, uh, not a big advantage here. Both are coming in for both players. Is Stark doing any TCs? I don't think so. He's missing the, the, the wood to do. He's got two lumber camps at least. And now this is the first knight out. Gonna go for the scout here. Scout will go down immediately, but Viper also with the knight here. Monastery Siege Workshop, very similar playstyle. They're going aggressive. Battering them coming out for, for Stark. That's interesting. But Viper got the stable and uh, Stark knows about it, so I'm not sure what he's going to do. Uh, of course, Viper is going to start and uh, go for the relics here. There's one monk out for Stark as well. Um, is he going to actually convert the villager? That would be fun. Um, forging them for Viper as far as I can see. Um, yeah, plus one on the militia and the knights. Manganel is out and I think Manganel is a way better idea here. The battering ram really can't do anything. has to go back. And we see second monastery for Stark now. No more TCs or did he actually... Is he starting to build a TC somewhere? Uh, maybe he sold 100 stone. That's a possibility. Mm, Viper 200 stone. Um, uh, oh no, that's uh, Viper. Was that was Viper's point of view? Sorry, um, Viper is getting one more TC on the main golden wood line. Very nice for him. While Stark 200 gold, so not going for TCs right now. I'm missing the action here. Sorry. Um, five knights for Viper. That's one converted, I guess. That one is converted, and he's got four of his own. Going forward now with the monks, and Viper actually with a very nice advantage here. He's going for map control. He mm, mm, they go for atonement. I'm not sure. Stark doing sanctity and redemption. Wants to convert the manganels, um, but he will be busy with the knights actually. And uh, now the battering ram, low HP, and the manganel is there. Battering ram going down, and we might see Viper kill a few villages actually with the manganel if he's going to be in range. Now redemption done, and Stark is going for the manganel. Viper rec recognizing this immediately and uh, destroying the ram before it gets converted. Um, the knights are taking care of the rest of the houses. There's one idle villager, Stark uh, building an outpost. 
of somewhere, or is he going for the walls here? No, there's an outpost for, for Stark, 190 stone. Still no more TCs, I think he should go for one now. Maybe right here in the back, or, or in front of the gold, or have a lot of space and still be safe. Mining camp coming for him instead, uh, could have been a TC here. Viper now doing atonement, he wants to convert monks. I'm not sure if Stark did it already, and I'm gonna go a little bit faster, while Viper is getting 30 C up. And resources for him actually looking quite good. How many relics does he have? He's got one relic inside. And going for more, there's number two, he's going for number three as well. While we have, oh nice, uh, conversion for Stark here. And going out with a lot of monks right now. Um, Viper, no monks close, and that's one to eight monks for Stark. So Viper needs to get more monks out first before he can actually fight this back. Uh, he's going with the knights, uh, searching the safety of his, uh, his walls. And Stark and then taking map control. Viper should delete the siege workshop. Let's see if he's uh, recognizing it in time. Uh, no, Viper doesn't see it. And I think the siege workshop will go to Stark here. Oh, Viper actually, uh, that was close. Uh, couldn't have gone too much longer. Uh, now using another ram, number two, to get through Viper's walls. What is Viper doing, actually? Uh, a lot of food and gold in the back. He could go up to Imperial Age quite soon, but instead going more stables. That's pr probably the better idea. Is he doing scouts or not? He's doing scouts, smart play. Um, Wheelbar coming at the same time. A uh, few spears and a lot of monks now. Four Stark here, the gate is down. And another outpost on Viper's Gold to see what's happening. Bloodlands coming from Viper at the same time. And we still have conversions. I think the house was converted maybe. The Rams moving forward. Viper doing iron casting now and the Bloodlands. And. Uh, can try reset router. Um, so maybe they're going to pause this again. Uh, it's possible Viper at the same time trying to to secure the relics to s bring them in safely, but he's losing the monks uh, while he's trying to do that. Uh, and there's still one relic inside his monastery. It's no problem for him. Stark still hasn't done any more TCs actually. Viper on three, and there we go. That's 17 more villagers at this point. Castle actually coming up for Viper. I didn't even see he was in stone, but he's got a TC there. Oh, it makes sense. And the castle will stop Stark's approach here. Uh, can Stark see the castle? He can see it without any problems, but he can't really do anything against it. Should have gone forward maybe with the monks and try to convert a few villagers, but uh, not reacting fast enough. And I think this castle is gonna stop Stark's push here and delay it a lot. Stark actually got enough stone for a castle himself. Where is he going to put it? Uh, should be very interesting to see if he's going right in front of it. Um, almost. He's going on the side a little bit, but we we're gonna have a castle uh, fight here. And oh, we need to defend this. Stark needs Needs a lot of, uh, of micro now. As Viper doing double watchtower and remember the, the watchtowers, uh, 10 villagers or uh, 10 units per tower. So this is gonna be very close here. I'm going slow because this is, is a very important moment, I think. The scouts moving from the side. Knights actually going back. Start trying to convert a few. Look at this Viper with so many villagers here. First tower is up. Uh, there's one, two, uh, seven, eight. Seven, eight villagers for Stark. And now there's 10 villagers inside the tower and 10 inside the other. Now oh, it's eight right now. And uh, yeah, those towers are have a lot of firepower right now. Uh, villagers being killed by the scouts at the same time as being attacked by the tower. The castle is not up, like 75% probably. Uh, 73 right now. And now the knights are moving in. Uh, one was converted, but doesn't really matter. And uh, Stark is losing his forward, he's losing the villagers, he's losing all the monks here. Viper is a very strong uh, counter attack. And the tower is actually doing a lot of uh, damage here. Stark calling GG. Wow, what a nice moment in this game. Uh, trying to get a castle up, but Viper, with very smart play, doing a lot of knights and scouts, and then counter-attack, knights on, on one side, scouts on the other side, and the two towers, preventing the castle from going up. Stark, no more, uh, no chance here. Mm, maybe should have walled this in a little bit, but the tower is just too good at this point. And yeah, Viper lost a lot of villagers here. He pulled off a lot of them, but he had uh, 27 more villagers, so he could afford it. And it forced Stark to call Chi-Chi. Very nice game. Uh, starting with la Viper laming four sheep, then Stark trying to go for uh, the deer, and Viper rushing actually, and uh, Stark then going three, four monasteries actually, monk rushing, um, siege and monks, trying to go for forward castle, and at this point he didn't have enough military presence here. Viper taking the game, and actually taking the match here, 4-1 for Viper, he's advancing to the next round.
around. Very, very strong games in my opinion. And I can promise you uh, when we go back into the loser's bracket, which we will do of course, uh, there's going to be a lot of good games as well. But uh, for now, uh, first winner bracket game over and I think the next one is, oh I'm not sure who's playing, I don't know anymore, Miguel? Is it Miguel and Loisa? I think that's the one the players that are remaining. Uh, so we're going to get into that. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next games. GG.